is up guys, Riley here with Hudson Motors. Welcome to the vlog. Today we've got a lot of fun stuff to show you guys in this video, going over the winner of our F-250 giveaway, doing a bunch of work on our Comanche and a bunch of other good stuff in between. So uh, enjoy. We have an email address, the winner. Let's make this really, really crazy. The winner of our 1997 Ford F-250 flare site is Jacob Labas from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Jacob Labas from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Congratulations, Jacob. You are the winner of our 1997 Ford F-250 flare site. Let's go! How exciting. Jacob has participated a few times in some giveaways and uh, we're stoked for him. Let's, uh, let's give Jacob a call. Maybe he's on. Jacob, are you on? Oh, he <laughs> sent me the voicemail. Let's call him again. They always do. Hey, Jacob, this is Riley Hodson uh, from Hodson Motors. Just calling you about uh, an issue with your order um, that that you might see something weird come through in your credit card. Um, if you can give me a call back, I just want to go over it with you over the phone and see what we can't do. Um, yeah, call me back. Thanks a bunch. Bye. All right, guys, so we picked a winner, Jacob Labus from Fort Wayne, Indiana. He has not answered his phone. I called him like five or six times. He rejected my phone calls. And so I've left him a voicemail saying that we've got an issue with his order and to call me back. So there is a protocol. There is a legal way that we have to do this. And we have to notify him by phone call, by email, and by physical mail. And he has a month to respond. And so I'm going to give him a couple days to respond by phone call because it's the most exciting for us to, you know, get a phone call from him and, and be pumped on the phone, all that kind of stuff. And whatever. And if he doesn't respond by Monday, I'll send him an email. And then if he doesn't respond by maybe Friday to that email, we'll send him an actual physical letter that says, Hey dude, you won. He has a month to respond. And so I hope he's not overseas or something, but the rules state that you have a month to respond. This is the legal limit across any sweepstakes across the United States. You have a whole month to respond. If he doesn't respond by March 10th, we pick another winner. So hopefully he calls me back in the next five minutes and we can get it on film and it's great and it's exciting. But if he doesn't, then then somebody else is gonna get another chance. And that's it. So we'll just have to sit around and see. All right guys, he's calling me. Let's see what happens. Yeah, hey, is this Jacob? Yes, sir. Hey, um, did you get my voicemail? Yeah, I did. Hey, um, you know what? There's nothing wrong with your order. Uh, I'm actually just calling to let you know that you're the winner of our 1997 Ford F-250. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Oh, dang, <laughs> That's the point of me calling you four or five times. Oh, dang, I appreciate <laughs> And you're probably like, who is bugging me with five phone yeah, calls? Like, this is the most aggressive telemarketing I've ever seen. <laughs> Let me show you. Let me show you your grand prize here. There yeah. she is. That is sick. All righty. Oh, man. So, good. All right, he's excited. He got to see his truck on FaceTime. We'll see what he picks, if he picks the cash or if he picks the, the truck. But I'm glad that he answered, and, and that's off my shoulders now. So, cool. So, uh, yeah, we're going to call him back. We'll final this all up. We'll fly him out. He'll drive his truck home, and it's going to be awesome. So, uh, stay tuned. It's time for the first start of the Manchie. So, we've got the engines in. She's all rebuilt. Looking fresh, looking good. We put a new fuel tank in her and new fuel pump, everything, everything's good, but we forgot about putting in uh, gas in that brand new gas tank. So I said, we're gonna start with car clean, but we just gotta see how she starts. Let's do it, baby. Hey, she runs, that's all that matters, baby. We'll get some gas in her tomorrow. And Get her going. That's what I'm talking about. You guys are finishing up one ton steering. Yes, sir. Shout out to sure. all my alignment fellows in the world. <laughs> Looking good. Bumper day. Sterling's been color sanding that bad boy. And then we're putting this eight lug Dana 44 together uh, for my dad's Wagoneer. That thing got a full rebuild and is freaking looking phenomenal. So putting that thing together. And then today I'm working on some CAD design, cardboard assisted design with this winch mount that we're going to put underneath the Comanche. So just make it out of cardboard. And then this can bolt behind that factory front bumper and make it look real nice. So that'll be sweet. Uh, and you'll see that in other Comanche videos when this looks all put together. So just a little bit of computer animated design. And we'll take it over to, uh, to Zach, have Zach cut this up for me on this table and bed it up and it'll be sweet. We've got our winch bracket made up. So again, same thing we did in cardboard yesterday. Winch is gonna go right there, bolt down to the face of the bracket. Cable will come out here. Fairly will go on the bumper in front. And then these brackets will go in the frame and they're slotted and everything so we can slide them around. They'll go in the frame and bolt somewhere like that. Hold that plate in there perfectly fine. 
Came out sweet. Let me show you what else is going on. We're not working on trucks. We're in here. Let me show you. Behind this door. Say what's up, Stir. What's up? Doing inventory day. Say hi, Amanda. Hello. We're doing inventory. Loads of shirts. And uh, yeah, loads of boxes, loads of stuff to put away. This is all in between giveaways as we get everything ready to launch on the Comanche. But it's a pain in the butt because every time we do a giveaway, we have to count everything. Right, Sterling? Yeah. It's your least favorite thing to do, huh? Yeah, sucks. Sure sucks. Would much rather be out here. But out here today, we're having fun with my dad's Grand Cherokee SRT8 lifted thing. It's had this truck forever since brand new. It's rad. It's it has been a phenomenal Jeep and it's super goofy. Bought the hood and grill. I, I hate the grill, but he likes it. But the hood's really cool. You know, that Hellcat inspired hood that Jeep should have put on the Trackhawks, but they didn't. Out of Russia, believe it or not. Little lift kit with some, some off-road tires. Things pretty freaking cool and sounds sounds just insane. But working on this today. We've also got this 78 W100. We swapped in a 440. This is a customer's truck, Jesus. And we're just kind of getting it going for him, getting the project going for him. And then he's going to finish the rest. But the truck's pretty freaking cool and sounds insane. We're going to pull the tranny now. That'll be tomorrow. Pull the tranny, rebuild the trans, put it back in. And then it's pretty much ready to go. So the truck's really cool. Candy red paint job. Big old thing on 35s. He'll have fun just continue building on it. This was just like an Instagram special where we just like had this truck halfway done and let someone else take over this project. Sounds real good. All right, there she is. Nice new crystal clear turn signals and some LED bulbs. We do these in all our trucks just because they really are so much brighter than stock halogen. So time to take that bumper off, baby. All right, it is a beautiful Thursday morning. We're gonna be putting on our uh, bumper lights that go down here and then replacing those halogens and our cracked up turn signal bulbs with some nice LEDs and some new turn signal lenses over there. So it's gonna look nice, finish off the front end of the Jeep and then uh, we can take this bumper back off. We can uh, get that winch mounted up, so I'm stoked. All right, let me show you what we're working with here with this winch that's gonna go behind the stock bumper. She's looking good though with those lights, I like that. So we got these brackets right here that we made up. They are gonna go on the inside of the frame here. So we're gonna get rid of these uh, nut clips, these nut certs, and this plate here is gonna get cut out. And then these guys are gonna go on the inside of the frame though, just like that. Pretty much, that's about it. And then our winch plate will bolt to those. And then we'll run some, we'll get rid of the, the, the metric crap and these little goofy nut clips. And we'll just go to some nice grade eight, three eighths bolts. It'll be stout. This chin spoiler will have to come down and that's okay. But we'll trim out this cross member, which is really sh flimsy sheet metal. And then that winch mount made out of 3 16 plate is gonna be a whole lot stronger too. So that's good. But before any do it, we do any of that, let's get our LEDs for this bad boy. Our little rectangular bulbs, they're in here. Let me show you what we got. We did, because it's classic, some hella LED bulbs. Let me show you this crap. We wanted a rectangular light to keep that classic look, but I still wanted to do an LED. So this is what we're doing instead. Okay, very classic looking. Boom. Those are sick. Stoked. All right, we got our bulbs and our brackets. Put these bad boys together. Go slap them out on the, uh, out on the bumper. There she is. They look killer. Good looking lights. They look good back up on the truck. That's for sure. I want to talk about our giveaway truck that we just finished up, our 97 F-250 flare side. The winner, Jacob, uh, he's out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. He's a military man, really cool army vet, and he's actually going out of the country for two months on assignment. And he's like, hey, well, it's gone. Can we do some extra fun stuff to it? So we're taking this bad boy. We're going to put a little bit extra into it, put, some, put a light bar on the roof, uh, like a KC Pro 6 light bar on the roof. He wants to do a solid axle swap while it's here. And he wants to do a couple other things, do some, some leather interior. So we're going to have some fun with that bad boy so you won't see... Uh, for a couple months that the winner comes to pick this up but i'm excited make it even better for him and then he'll fly in and pick it up so stoked stay tuned for that thing lots more progress all right so let's wire these bad boys up we've got our pigtails that come off of these lights here and i, I really wish i didn't have to use it but i'm gonna show you why let's wire these up we've got our our pigtails running underneath the grill there and they're the same here so that's really nice and convenient that those are just done but it's going to two relays which in my opinion is overkill these are like two amp lights like they're not drawn enough to kill even close to a 40 amp relay but there's a a relay for the main bulbs and then a relay for like a little running light 
on the top bar there. So I'm just gonna wire those together. I don't think anyone needs to have running lights on, a, on an LED bulb. I think that's a little silly. So we've got those there. Uh, we've got our signal wires or switch wires for our relays. Those will go inside the cab and then our power and our ground will go to our battery. And this will be really quick and easy. Let's put them in. We're also working on getting our winch solenoid box mounted up here behind our battery. Looks like a mess right now, but this is because our winch under our bumper is gonna hit if we keep that box on top. So we're gonna put it up here instead. And we'll run our wires inside of our truck so that we can use the winch from the inside. Once we're done, this will look clean and nice, but we built a little bracket so this is nice and mounted on there. Isn't just gonna fly all over the place. All right, it is winch time. We're just gonna figure this out as we go along. I'm not gonna lie. No, I've got a plan. Uh, we're gonna trim up underneath there. We're all done up here. Got our box all mounted in. All our wires looking as neat as we can get them. These Jeeps, man, they just have so much going on under the hood that it's kind of a mess always, but we've done our best to manage these cables as best as we can. So that's all in. It's time to get this bad boy going. And then to control the winch, you've got three options. You've got your standard remote, your regular remote, and then we're gonna put a winch switch like this into the factory dash right here. It'll be sweet. So you'll have your winch there and then the other panel here will be for our light bars, or our little, uh, our little hella lights up there. So it'll look nice. He doesn't care. Actuator. Right. Ready to go. Ready to paint. Spray it up. Got to paint them up so we don't get no rusty. Might not be the best paint job, but you know what? It looks great. <laughs> That'll be sweet. And I get to show off my $300 rack. That's already starting to rust in the corners, but whatever. I love my paint rack. <whistles> looks good. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right, time to set the cam. Let's be run for 30 minutes, 1500 RPM. But we've had just a few little hiccups today and let's hope we've got them all figured out now. So let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Fired, but we're not gonna run it. Definitely got a misfire or our spark plug cables are out of order. So we're gonna keep, hey, this is real time, okay? This is this is real, this is real life, okay? And we're gonna get this thing fired up and she can be running so good. The bougiest Dremel you've ever seen. <laughs> we're gonna start working on getting our switches mounted in these panels here, the winch switch, and we'll put our light switch there. It'll look good. Perfect. Cut the other hole now. All right, got it running good. It's just a timing issue. We're gonna make a little brag, make a little spacer here, push this over, but you get the point. She runs. Setting in the uh, the cam now, breaking the cam in. Are you winning, Isaiah? I am. Doing the track bar brackets, clamps. Uh, the locking clamps. Yeah, and your. Uh, Steering stabilizer, yes. fun stuff. It's snowing out there, so the truck got a little wet and we had to put some water in it. We had to get it a little wet today, but it's okay. But she's running good. Engine bay's pretty much done. I think we can finish loom now. And then our interior's coming together. All that's left to do in here is our switch wiring. Finish our dash, put it back together. We've got the lower trim piece here. This feeds an AC vent right here and keeps you nice and chill between the legs. But all we gotta do is just tuck our wires back up underneath our dash, put our gauge bezel back on, we're off to the races. I'm stoked. All right, got our switches wired up, tuck these in behind the dash, but we got our lights up front, relay clicks on. We've got our, oh, works our winch. Yes, okay, they work. It does, it is doing, win are you doing brake things? I'm doing brake things. That sucks. Yes, this is a win. This is a massive win, because everything fit pretty dang well. A radio, this needs to come in a little. She needs a little push, but AC controls fit, our little cubby fit, everything's fitting wonderfully. So we're almost done in here. I'm stuck. And our dash in, we got our lower dash in. We've got our ball chiller 9000 in over there. Whew. Got the idle set good today. She's looking like a truck. Got to clean up some mess, but it looks good. Now, this is my favorite part is when we're almost, it's just, it's just one more thing off the list. One more thing off the list. This is it. This is all we have to do. Just in the next couple of days, but really the truck is, the truck is done. We're stoked.
are you doing? We got a runner! She's moving! It's a little baby's first She's drive, huh? Great. Do the windshield wipers oh. work? Probably not. Okay. Give her the beans. Let's give her a little beans, huh? that for this vlog next vlog we'll be going over our 57 chevy semi truck that we're working on uh future giveaway trucks picking the winner of the comanche all sorts of fun stuff on that next vlog as well so uh, we will keep doing these these are just a fun way of keeping you guys updated and showing you all the ins and outs and, and yes i know the videos aren't super polished but we just want you to see what it's like working over here we're having a great time all the time and just doing our best and just uh being professional amateurs like we always say so again thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to us here on youtube follow us on instagram at hots and motors and uh, we'll catch you on the next one